hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to talk about a contactor hold on and over here is the component needed to build search execute this is my mcb this is the stop push button this is the start push button and this is the magnetic contactor and over here is the wiring diagram of how the circuit is going to look like when i'm done connecting all the needed components in the circuit this is my mcb as i said this is the face or the live or the feed this is the stop push button one and two I have it here this is the stop one and two and you have the start push button here this is the three and four the start it is normally open and the stop is normally closed this is normally closed and this is normally open and you have the a1 and the a2 this is the you have k over here this is the contactor coil the a1 and the a2 the contactor coil and this is the neutral the neutral to the a2 terminal on the magnetic contactor you have the a1 and the a2 over here you also have another a2 here this a2 and this a2 they are the same you can connect your neutral cable to any of this a2 either here or here it will still work and a1 is the live and what is the meaning of a contactor hold on in simple terms a contactor hold on is a feature found in the electrical circuit that allows a contactor to remain energized even after the initial signal that activated it is removed Meaning, when I push this start push button, the contactor is supposed to energize, something like this. It will activate like this, and when I remove my hand from this start push button, this contactor is supposed to remain energized by the help of the hold on. And without the hold on, whenever you push this start push button and you remove your hand, this contactor is going to de-energize. When I push it like this, the contactor is going to close. That is the energization and the moment i remove my hand it is going to de-energize that is without a hold on and whenever you do the hold on when you push it like this it is going to energize and whenever you remove your hand it is going to be in the energization state that's the help of the hold on and this is the hold on the 13 and the 14. so without wasting much time let's get started Let's assume that you don't have this hold on here, the 13 and the 14. These are cables. This is the uh, 13 and the 14, the terminal that we have on the magnetic contactor. That is what is going to help us do the hold on. And let's assume that we don't have this 13 and 14. And if we don't have this 13 and 14 here, all these lines, all these components here, it is going to be in series. Meaning when one component breaks, the circuit is not going to work. Without a hold on, this circuit, this component here, are going to be in series. So, as I said, let's assume that we don't have a hold on here. So, I'll quickly connect my cable from the breaker to the stop push button. That is number one. I'll use this cable as the live, the brown cable. So, I'll connect this. I've connected the live cable. This is from the breaker. So normally close. So normally close. That is the stop push button to one terminal. That is number one. You have number one here. This is normally close NC. I'll connect it to one. Now from the breaker to number one and from number two. I'll use another cable to pick the line from number two to number three. To number three. This is normally open. Then 
going from number four to a one have the a one over here is the a1 so from number four to a1 on the contactor this is number four to a1 The neutral I have my neutral cable here this is the, the terminal strip or your connector i'll just connect the neutral from this terminal strip over here to the a2 on the contactor i'll use this cable and then connect to a2 And as I said, the A2 terminals, we have two terminals of the A2, one at this side and the other one at this side. And any of these two, you can connect it to one. So I'm, I'm going to choose this side. I'll connect it to this A2. Now, we are done with it. I've not connected this hold on. So I'm going to operate it to see how the contactor is going to work. A contactor without a hold on, this is how it is going to work. First of all, I'm just going to turn on my circuit breaker. Now, as I turn on the circuit breaker, the current is going to flow from, this is the breaker, from here to the number one. This is a cable to number one. And because the stop push button is normally closed, the current is going to flow from one to two and from two to number three. Now, the start push button is normally open, so it is going to be trapped at this side. So the moment I push the start push button, then this switch is going to close, then the current will flow to the A1. And I've connected the A2 already, so the contactor is going to energize. This is the one. Yes. The current is already there to this side and from here to number three and as i said because this is normally open the current is going to be trapped at this side now look at how the circuit is going to work without a hold on i'll push this stop push button i push it now the contactor has energized I remove my hand to de energize and this is how the circuit is going to work without a hold on this is how the contactor is going to work let's assume that you have connected your lamp or your motor or any load to this contactor the moment you push it the load is going to work if it is a lamp it is going to work if it is a three-phase motor it is going to work but the moment you remove your hand from the start push button then it is going to stop this is without a hold on this is how it is going to work and if you want to connect the hold on this is how it is being done or it is being connected safety first so i'm going to turn off the breaker okay now as i turn off the breaker there is no flow of current and test it okay this is the hold on the hold on we have here it is also normally open you can see that the hold on and the start push button they are of the same switch this is normally open switch this is also normally open but this hold on it can be found on the contactor you have the 13 here and the 14. this is the 13 and this is the 14. now as as i said before we assume that there is no hold on so this line is going to be in series but the moment we connect the hold on it's going to create a parallel flow of current to the contactor coil that is when you connect the hold on the hold on is from the tray number three terminal of the 
start push button you have this is the start the green one you have the number three at this side so i'll use another cable and connect it from three to 13 you have the 13 here and from four this is another terminal this is another cable over here from four this is the four to 14 so it is very simple and easy from 3 to 13 and from 4 to 14 3 to 13 and from 4 to 14 now when we do this the moment i turn on the breaker there's going to be a flow of current from the breaker to the number 3 and because i've used another cable to connect from 3 to 13 the current is also going to flow from the cable from the cable that i used to connect from 3 to 13 to this side and the moment i push the start push button the normal open on the contactor is going to turn to normally close the moment i push it this terminal you see here the 13 and 4 is going to turn to normally close and the current is going to flow from this side to this side and to the contactor this hold on is what is going to allow a contactor to remain energized even after the initial signal that activated it is removed so without wasting much time I'll connect another cable from number three. I have number three here. We are using only the start push button from number three. So it's very simple and easy from three to. From 3 to 13 and from 4, 4 to 14. <coughs> Guys, you are successfully done with the hold on. From 3 to 13 from 4 to 14 so I'm going to turn on the breaker and then operate it or push the start push button to see how the contactor is going to work turn the breaker on as I turn on the breaker the current is flowing from 3 to 13 and the moment I push this start push button here is going to close here is also going to close the current will quickly then flow to the contactor coil. Let's test it. Turn on the breaker. This is number three. There's, there's a current over here. There's also a current over here. So the moment the contactor energizes, this normal open is going to turn to normal close. And and because this is normally open, the moment the conductor energize, current is going to flow from 13 to 14, and from 14 to number 4, and from number 4 to the A1. That is the live. Yes. So right now, the hold on is working perfectly as we wanted. I then push the stop push button. This is normally close. So the moment I push the stop push button, this normally close here is going to turn to normally open. And the current is going to be trapped at this side. So the moment I remove my hand, then it is going to turn to normally close again. When you push it to turn to normally open, you remove your hand, it turns to normally close again. But just push it. Just now the contactor has de-energized. So just now as I've not removed my hand, has tend to normally open the moment i remove it it will tend to close again and the current is going to be trapped at this side and this side the 13 terminal a lot of videos on youtube here talks about how to do a contactor hold on without any explanation and i think this explanation best fits for what you are looking for i'll start it again
guys if you find this video helpful consider subscribing to this channel like this video share and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i drop a video youtube is going to notify you thanks for watching see you in my next video